fuck off. I've got things to do and there is nothing else to say. I don't think Tony does know. Why would he marry Carla if he knew she'd been with Liam? I don't know. All I did was show him the video. What he makes of it is none of my business. Oh, who got it wrong? When did he see the video? The day John State took me away. Weeks ago. I didn't mean to show me. I was, I was just a bit upset. And you showed it him and not me. I was a bit tied up in John State's granny's attic. Remember, I have to go. So why didn't Tony tell me about it then? Maybe he knew it was nothing. Nothing? She wasn't even dressed. Well, speak to him and not to me. What? Nothing. What have I done now? You know, Michelle's making you a special meal tonight, don't you? No one told me. Well, I'm telling you now, so don't go shoveling that down your neck. I'm hungry. Poor love can't starve himself all day. Hey, you are not helping. Talking of which, Rebecca, my dear. Oh, whatever it is, the answer's no. Just a couple of hours tonight. Oh, I've just done you an extra shift. So Michelle and Steve can spend a nice romantic evening together. <sighs> if you do, I'll have to miss my Brazilian crunch. Time and a half. And early finish tomorrow. Go on, then, just for you, Liz. <gasps> Well, I hope you have a really lovely time tonight. Thank you. Yes, yeah, she's in the back. I'll just go get her. All right. OK, calm down, love. I'll call her now. I know you said, but two days' notice. Dad, I don't even want her. I don't know nobody in Spain. What's it supposed to be? Billy Nomit sat around some lousy pool. I'm happy here. There's millions of places I can live. Sauce. No, thanks. Dad, trust me, it's not a problem. Three pounds. All right. Same to you. Bye. You can end up in a cardboard box for all he cares. Where's Minnie? You tell me. She ain't gonna die of a work-related disease, is she? What did your dad want? Ex-dad. He's letting house out. What, your house? Hmm. Gotta be out by Monday. It's tough, isn't it? Tough on me, Mum. Not a problem for me. Well, where will you go? I'll ring my bestie mate, your fella. <laughs> what can he do? Well, I can stop at his. No problem. There's not a lot of room at Gales. Well, I curl up small. Anyway, we'll have a laugh. You, me, David. Woo. No, there's not a lot of room at all. She was only saying last night. Well, she's got a soft spot for me. She's only just got rid of Graham. I'm telling you, no chance. Are you sure you saw a real kiss? I mean, it, it could have been some sort of friendly hello or something. I've lost everything. We weren't together long, but I thought... I loved him, Michelle. And I thought that he loved me. He did. Of course he did. Tony said all he ever did was flirt. He told me there was never anything going on. You lied. Well, you don't know that. Look, you're putting yourself through so much. They spent at least one night together. I know that now, and it's changed everything. All my memories poisoned. I don't know if he loved me or her. If he was lying all the time. If he wanted to be with her when he was with me. Now you're getting yourself too worked up. Why is this so okay with Tony when it's turned my world upside down? How could it just know all this and go on and get married anyway. Maria. And not just marry her. Have Liam being his best man. I don't get it. And his brother said something the night before the wedding, Pat. He said something about Liam being best man. What? I don't know. I can't remember. It... I asked him something or... Anyway, Tony interrupted. Well... You can ask him yourself, can't you, when he comes back off his honeymoon? Look, I've got to go. I wish I could stop you worrying. Liam loved you. Yeah, I thought he did. Now I just feel robbed. I'm sorry, you've got to go. I wish I could stay. Are you going to be all right? 
Yeah, of course. Go on. You're not going to do anything? No. Just try and calm down. Take the dog for a walk. Do normal things. Good. Thanks. Think about the baby, eh? That lovely little baby you're going to have. Tony, it's me, Maria. Um, I need to talk to you. Can you call me back as soon as you get this, please? It's about Liam. I think you know what. Hey, Mr. Perfume Man. Can you plastic? Well, don't be telling everyone. Oh, it's not hot, is it? Why don't you shout it so the rest of the street can hear you? Oh, well, if I'd have known it was hot. It's not hot. It's surplus stock. Look, we just like to tell people it's not tough, so they feel like they're being naughty. They like that round here. <laughs> here. Let's have another sniff. No, no, don't wave it around here. Why not? Because I'm supposed to be working. Great, just pretend we're talking about your car. <gasps> you are? Yeah, sorry I've not had a chance to take a look at her just yet. Boss, just gonna go and do a test drive. She's got an intermittent banging. Well, if you wanted to carry me off to some romantic hideaway, you only had to ask. Can you imagine? Get in. Look, it was my idea. I don't want dinner for two with Michelle. It's not a dinner I'm worried about. It's what you have for pudding. What we have for... Don't be daft. You and her with candles and soft music and a great big rack of lamb. Just had lamb. It's not the flaming lambs, Dee! Just make sure you have a really, really horrible evening, please. We will. There's something really sick and twisted, you know, about me working down here so you and her can be all romantic up there. Look, we won't, I promise. Cut me out out today. Cut your throat. I wonder it's making funny noises. The oil light's flashing. But is it not supposed to? Uh, no, it's not supposed to. Look, that light is telling you that your engine's about to explode. But when was the last time you topped it up with oil? I top up the petrol. Right, so you've not checked your dipstick? Dipstick? That's what my dad calls me. Hey, do you like my flow holder? <laughs> Come on, belt up. Let's see if she's as bad as she sounds. But we won't be going very far or very fast. Not Blackpool, then. <laughs> If you're lucky. <laughs> oh, oh, hold on. Going up to the final furlong and oh, mind your heads. Oh, mind the ceiling. Oh, and he wins. <laughs> oh. I'll tell you what, he's a big strong lad. Phew. <laughs> so, uh, everything all right? Yeah, fine. Leanne, uh, thanks for, you know. What? Doing my job is what you pay me for. I know, but I keep abandoning you. So you're going to let me say a proper thanks when we finish? Oh, that sounds interesting. Does it? A drink or, I don't know, a meal? OK. Great. Which? Either. OK, well, uh, we'll have a meal then. And I promise uh, I'll stop pretending this is about work or saying thanks or anything else. Right, so what is it all about then? It's about me and you going out having a very nice time together because we like each other. Do we? Yes, we do. So, er... Uh, how do you fancy staying with Gran and Grandad tonight? Yeah, Gran's hot chocolate. Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you what, we'll get some marshmallows, put them on top, eh? Yeah. Right, well, I'll, I'll ask them then if they can babysit, but I'm sure they will. Right, well, go on then, get gone. <laughs> Wait, I've got some serious work to do. Right. See these pencils here? Find all the blunt ones and then you can sharpen them, OK? So I spoke to Rosie about that video. You've got to stop worrying about this silly little kiss. You'll drive yourself bonkers. I'm not an idiot, Tom. Watched that video 50 times. I know what I saw. It wasn't just a kiss. Been there all night. It must have been. So why didn't Tony say anything? Tony? Yeah, he knew about it. He's seen the video. Hang on. Rosie showed it him. Why would she do that? I can't get my head around Tony knowing, keeping it all secret. 
And then oh. just marrying Carla anyway. He must have got this wrong. When did Rosie show it him? The day that John Stake took her. She's odd, that Rosie. Why would you video someone kissing anyway? Hang on. The day that John Stake took her, that's... What? Tony saw Carla and Liam kissing before he invited us to the caves. Right. Well, that's where he asked Liam to be his best man. Why would he do that? I don't get it. Would you ask Liam to be your best man if you'd just seen your fiancé kissing him? Not even dressed kissing him? You've got to stop asking these questions. You make yourself ill. No, I need to speak to Pat. You don't, Maria. Well, he must know why Tony chose Liam. Straight after he sees the video, he goes and asks Liam to be his best man. Something's not right, Tom. <laughs> Never heard of health and safety. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I'll stick it. Um, what are you doing with this? Nothing. I was just a uh... insecticide. No, it's perfume, and it ain't not off. Ty, it obviously is. No, I'm just looking after it for Pam. Well, she pays your wages now. Sorry, I'll take it home. Oh, that's what you was doing before, wasn't it? Selling it at girl. No. Yeah, she only wanted one bottle. Does this look like dodgy days bargain basement? Oh, I'm sorry, Kevin. I'm just trying to save up a bit, you know, for the wedding. You know, if you put as much effort into your job. As you do your anti pan flaming scams. We won't be two days behind in the worksheets. Sorry, boss. One salt and vinegar, one cheese and onion. You choose. It was a surprise at the time, you know. Everyone thought his brother would be best man. It's banned, remember? Break from the house, change the subject. That pat might be in there. Okay, one last thing. For now. I reckon Tony must have told Carla about the video. And Carla must have explained it. Liam never liked him. Tony must have known that. That's why that best man thing was so weird. Maybe, but then... Once Liam got over Tony buying him out of Underworld, they got on okay. They didn't. They were polite, yeah, but they were never pallet. And if he knew that Liam and Carla would... got lost. Sorry. I had to track them down. They can't do it. Oh. Oh, well, that's a shame. Yeah. Well, it's funny how they always go on about having him, and then when I ask for a few hours of babysitting, they're miraculously busy. Well, to be fair, you didn't give them much notice. <sighs> I really wanted a night off. Yeah, but they do and all. They are entitled. So, uh, how do you fancy a cosy night in? In where? Mine. Ours. Could have an Indian. Mmm. I had an Indian last night. Right, pizza then. Ty? Fish and chips, uh, scrambled egg on toast, anything you like, you name your poison. What do you think? Pizza? Yeah, great. So, uh, what time shall we say? One condition. I get to read Simon his good night story. They don't have a good night story. He does tonight. Deal? Deal. Deal. <laughs> you know, I was worrying about my mum and dad and, and then I was, I was worried about Maria. I know. And I'm really missing Liam. Of course you are. And somehow, in the middle of all that, you might have thought that I'd forgotten about you. No. But I hadn't. Not really. It's no big deal. But it is. You and me, Amy and Ryan, you know, we're, we're a family now. And you were so kind to me, Mum and Dad. Was it? Yeah. You know, running them round everywhere. Oh, right, yeah. This evening's about us. You and me. Together forever. Lovely. Hard day? Yeah, not bad. Been stuck under some dirty car all day. Yeah, look, is something wrong? No, no, it's fine. 
Is there anything you want to tell me? No. What do you mean? Any trips out with your gilly wiggly little wannabes? I saw you in a. Who? Mini stupid mouse. Who do you think? Oh, oh, that mini thinger. Look, she's just a dull brain. She doesn't put any oil in the engine or any air in the tyres. The engine sounded like a bucket of spanners. Have we got any cheese? So where did you go? Uh, just round the block. We barely made it back. Why? Nothing. Do you want an egg with that? Hey, yeah, when does this dance class start? Half an hour. Ah. Let's get going then, aren't you, look? Ah, but my gear is upstairs. Michelle, Steve, candles, music. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I had to tip her out. I knew it wouldn't take a lot to put the spark back. Rack a lamp, stick it off with bud. <coughs> Are you finished? Uh, I'm just out of the fizzy stuff, so... Uh... Oh, right. Uh, I won't be a minute. Hey, you can tell her tonight. Yeah, if I get a chance. Yeah, well, if you just stop kissing her for, like, ten seconds. It's not like that. Mm, yeah, you can't wait to get back to a look at you. Steve's over there. Excuse Tom. Oh, just leave him. Have a word with him. Maria, don't. Steve. I'm gone a bit. Don't do this, Maria. You were mates with Liam, weren't you? Sorry, Maria, I can't stop. Did you already know that there was something going on with him and Carla? Oh, Maria. I'm sorry, Maria. I'm kind of... And the stag do as well. Tell me about that. Look, this is not going to do any good. Look, Maria, I'm really sorry, but I'm in the middle of dinner here, so... All right, but just tell me one thing. Were Liam and Tony mates that night or what? Well, now, Liam arranged it, didn't he, for Tony? So... You know they were. So they weren't arguing or anything? Well, you saw how shattered Tony was after the accident, so... Listen, love, why don't you sit yourself down? I'll fetch you another orange, yeah? No, oh, you're all right. Just going to go home. Hey, Maria. Sorry. Come and see my goodbyes. It's my round, I think. Pat! Come and join us. What are you having? No, Maria, love, go home. Sh she's exhausted. I'm not, I'm all right. Yeah, we'll have that orange tar. Make it nice and long with lots of ice. Thanks, Pat. What are you doing back? It's called a break. Mm. Just been up to get a jumper. This central eating system's rubbish. We'll be back to hot water bottles and tartan slippers soon. Well, that's not our problem anymore, because you tenants move in on Monday. You what? Dad's let it out. What, your own father's evicting us? Me. You're not even supposed to be here. He's a miserable old... Eh, uh, you knew it would come in. Yeah, well, two days warning. I mean, where are you supposed to go? I'll be all right. I've got plenty of mates queuing up. I'm a popular guy. But you... Excuse me, I've got friends. I'll be fine. Was you I was worried about. Oh, how much have we had? We've only had one bottle. Yeah, right, and the rest. No, there's one open. It's all right, then. Just only one and a bit, then. <laughs> oh. I'll tell you what. I'm glad we didn't go out. Yeah, me too. Couldn't sit like this in the Rovers, could we? Oh, could you imagine Blanche? She'd faint with excitement. <laughs> Our Peter and that terrible Leanne. Kissing bold as brass. What? I like to choose my own moment, thanks, not have it chosen for me. Oh, what well, the trouble is, so do I. Oh, Simon, mate, what's wrong? What's the matter? Hey. A giant was looking in the window. A giant? You see, that's you and your bedtime story, that. Hey, hey, it was the big friendly giant. I didn't like him. Oh, hey, mate, there's no giants in Coronation Street. That have been for years. Leanne, you're not leaving. Yeah, I think I better had a day. You sleep well, Simon. Listen, um, I'll see you in the morning, yeah, and thanks for a lovely evening. You're not going to leave me with all that washing up, come on. <laughs> what, all two plates of it? I think you'll cope somehow. Good night. See ya. See ya. <sighs> oh, come on, mate. Shame you're not stopping longer, mate. I could have taken you down to watch City. Nah, you want to get yourself up north, mate? See some real football. Taxi's here, Pat. Cheers, mate. Nice one. Bye, Maria. Pat. You look after that bump. See you, everyone. Just let him go, yeah? Wait, I'm gone. You all right? 
Why didn't Tony ask you to be best man? What? I'm sorry. Um, you started telling me. Did I? Yeah, the night before the wedding. But Tony interrupted. I suppose he had the right. It was his wedding. So why didn't he ask you then to be best man? I won't be a minute, Tony. What is this? I mean, you're his brother. Are you better? He thought it would be a nice gesture after you lost your baby. I thought you two had fallen out, though. <laughs> Me and Tony. <laughs> we don't get together often enough to fall out. Who told you that? Tony did. He told everyone. Did he? Maybe you're at the wrong end of the stick. No, he said he couldn't ask you because you weren't talking. Not that I can remember. What did he tell you about Liam? Nothing. You weren't saying how sad it was. He never said anything about Liam and Carla. Like what? Like that they were having an affair. No. <laughs> they were kissing, you know. He saw him. I can't help you. I didn't know Liam. I hardly know Carla. She wasn't even dressed. They spent the night together. And then Tony went and asked Liam to be his best man. Why would he do that, Pat? He wouldn't, love. You don't know my brother. If our Tony thought anything was going on between Liam and Carla, he wouldn't have gone up the aisle. Unless he'd killed him first. See you. Are you with the boys working? I said, yeah, yeah, I'm with the boys. In Manchester? Yeah, yeah, in Manchester. With Jason and Howard? Yeah, Jason and Howard. And Grumpy Gary. <laughs> Take That, Come to Town is next. And tonight at nine here on ITV1, it's I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, coming out. <laughs>